Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Freeze. Welcome to Freeze Kids TV, the place that shows you how to draw a bunch of really cool characters. Now earlier today, I got an awesome fan request to draw one of my favorite creatures, which I actually saw the mystical creature, but it's not. It's actually a real creature, and that is a narwhal. So we're gonna need for this piece of paper, gonna need a pencil, possibly a sharpie, pencil sharpie, both are good, and some markers. And if you like today's video, please like and subscribe, but you know what? Let's not waste any time, let's jump right into it. All right. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna draw the base of the eye. We'll draw a line over here. It's gonna bend a little bit like that. And we're also gonna do the same on the side. We're gonna draw a line, it's gonna go up a little bit higher and just bend like that. What we'll do next is we're gonna draw a line, it's gonna go up and I'm just gonna bend to about here. And we're just gonna do the same over here, but going down. So this would be the one part of the eye. Now I'm gonna draw the inside of the eye. We'll have a line that's going around and it's gonna join here. And another line that's gonna bend up like that. Now we're gonna draw this side. We'll have a line that's gonna go up right to about here. And then we'll have another line to go up and it's gonna bend and join like that. Now we'll draw a line inside the eye. It's just going to bend a little bit and join here. And we'll have another line. It's going to bend and join like that. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give our friend a little smile. We'll draw lines go up. And just a little line here. We'll make our character a little bit happier. So we'll give... Our character bigger smile of a line to go around. And we're gonna draw our character's eyelashes. So a line goes up and a line that joins like that. And we'll just color in here. And we'll do another eyelash. So we'll have our two lines that will join and we'll just color this part here. Now we'll do the same on this side. And what we'll do now is we'll draw the side of our character's face. So it's gonna go around just past the eyelashes and it's gonna bend a little bit here. Now we'll draw the bottom half, so the line is going to continue and it's going to bend a little bit and point out. Now we'll draw our, our narwhal's horn, so we'll have a little line here for the base. And the lines can go up and it's come around like this here. We'll draw a little line that's going to join like that. And we're gonna have the other side, so it's gonna go around. It's gonna bend to about here. Now we'll draw our narwhal's fin, so it's gonna just swoop over a little bit like this. And a second line that's gonna swoop under, and it's gonna join like that. Now we'll draw the rest of the body. We'll have a line that's gonna go down, and it's gonna just been kind of almost coming to a point here. We'll draw our other fin, so it's gonna just go around. And another line that's just gonna join like that. All right, now we're gonna draw the tail. So we'll go up 
and around. And then it's gonna go around, almost joining like that. And we'll do the same here. It's gonna go around. And now over here, we're gonna have lines go up and around. And I'll join like that. Almost looks like a mustache. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna draw a little heart here. So we'll have the one side that's gonna join like this. And then we'll have the lines can go around and just bend like that. Cool. Now we should have some stripes. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we got our stripes. And we should draw our bow. So we're gonna start by drawing a little bump over here. Now for the top of the bow, it's gonna go up nice and high, and then it's gonna bend and join like this. And we'll do the same here. It's gonna go up, and then it's gonna bend and join like that. We're also gonna have a little line to bend like this here on each side. And two little lines on each side like this. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add some colors. So we're going to start by drawing the cheeks. And we're going to draw a big circle here or oval. <laughs> and we'll do the same on this side. And we're gonna get some pink and we're just gonna color the inside of the oval. And we'll do the same over here. Now we're gonna add a little bit of pink inside of the heart here. So we're just gonna add that here, just gonna go around. Make that line a little thicker. There we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start to color our fins. So we're going to use a light blue. Now you can color your character the same way, or if you want to use different colors, that's okay too. All right. But you know what? I'm just going to go over the cheeks, just making it a little bit darker before I finish coloring. So it stands out a little bit more. There we go. Now we're just going to add in our blue and we're just going to color that in. So this is going to be the base color. And since I'm doing the base color, I'm just going to speed this up here so i'm gonna be coloring a little fast so it's look like i can color in super speed but just to uh get the base color down because there's a lot of a lot of colors so we're just gonna get that there and usually for your base color um you want to use your lightest color so i'm going to be using a light blue and then later on I'm gonna add in some shading with a darker blue so we'll just add this in here and also when you're coloring you want the strokes to kind of go in the direction of the part so here I'm just shading uh, starting from the side of the character and then shading in and yeah we're just gonna color this in here
Now we're gonna use our darker blue and just gonna have a line just along the um, back part of our character. So it's gonna look like there's some shading or some shade actually. And we'll add a little bit under the fin. So I'll just color that in here. And we'll do the same on this side. So we'll add a little bit of color here. And we'll just add a little bit at the bottom like that. And for the bottom of the tail, we'll do the same. And this is just gonna help to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. There we go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna color the eyes. We're gonna be using three colors for the eyes. So we're gonna start with a yellow. I'm just gonna get, yeah, so we add a little bit more yellow here. And again, you can color the eyes however you like, but for this, I'm just gonna be using three colors. It's gonna make it look a little more fun. So I'm gonna use orange now. I'm just gonna add a little bit of orange here. And for the bottom, gonna use a red. Now, if you wanted to color your eyes with three different colors, I would use the lightest color at the top, um, a medium color in the middle, and the bottom color would be the darkest. And we'll add in the stripes. So we'll have a yellow here. Add a little bit of orange. So get a darker orange, there we go. We'll add in some red. We can add in some green, all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> uh, we'll add in some blue. Next, we'll add a little bit of purple. And a lighter purple at the top. Now we're just gonna add a little tiny bit of blue inside of the eyes. It's just gonna make it pop a little bit more. So use your light blue and just add a little bit just along the side of the inside of the eye. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a darker purple inside of the heart here, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, let's add a little bit more pink. pink there we go. And now we'll color our bow. So we're gonna use our yellow. So I'll color that in here. And you wanna try to draw within the lines, to make it as smooth as it possibly can look. And now I'm gonna use an orange. So the orange is just a little bit darker than the yellow and we're just gonna uh, add in some shade. So we'll just have it along the back part of the bow. And for the bottom here, we're gonna use a dark orange or a red. Actually, I'm gonna use red, so we'll take like that. Oh, I forgot we're gonna draw our character's tongue. So we'll use some pink to draw the tongue.
And then we just can color the rest of that in. And there we have it. We have our Nawa character looking awesome. And we're just gonna write down our name. So we'll have freeze 2020. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as well as to hit that bell button to be notified every time we post a new video.